Hey everybody, uh, it's Mr. Math Blog here. This lesson is uh, this module is uh, uh, called Transitions. This whole module is fun. This is a, and students think uh, they get upset when I say fun, but it's a it's an easier and it's more understandable. And we're just moving things, moving objects in here. And don't forget, all your lessons uh, can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Let me take you to that site. I do this every now and then, so it'll take you to this site right here. And then we click this Integrated Math One link right here. So when we click that. We'll scroll down and it's going to be going right underneath all the lessons for module six. Let me move that out of the way right there. So it's going to go right down here and it'll say um, translations for uh, uh, module 17.1. Okay. All right. So let's get started here. So our question is, how can we draw the image of a figure under a translation? Okay. Let's get started. So a vector is a quantity that has both direction and magnitude. Magnitude just means length. I noticed the textbook didn't say that, so that's all it means is it has a direction and a length. So we're going to move objects uh, in the form of a, of a vector, okay? And so the initial point of the vector is uh, where it starts and and the terminal point is where the vector ends, okay? And so this vector over here typically will say vector v, and notice there's just a half of an arrow on top of v. That's what we say for vectors right there. Sometimes they'll say vector ef, but whatever. If it says vector, then it's going to have the half of an arrow on top. But we're going to be using mostly vector v on all of these here. So a translation, you guys, is just a transformation, a transformation which is just means a movement, uh, along a vector such that the segment joining a point in its image has the same length as the vector and is parallel to the vector. And what does that mean? Well, that just means we're just moving this whole, this blue triangle, we're moving it in the direction of vector v in this case. So notice this vector is parallel right here. So parallel lines have the same slope and are the same distance from each other. So if I drew the line segment b to b prime right there, it would equal a to a prime. It would equal c to c prime. All of them would equal the length of this vector, which is the magnitude of the vector. Just a fancy name, you guys. All right, so let's draw the image of triangle ABC uh, after the translation along vector V, okay? So here's the uh, this triangle right here, and this vector is our direction and our length, okay? So we're just going to take this whole triangle, and we're going to move uh, this vertice, this vertice, and this vertice. It's going to move up two to the right uh, four, so up two to the right four. So we're going to draw a copy of vector V, which is uh, with its initial point at, at vertex A, okay? So there's that right there. So notice it went um, uh, up two to the right four. Four. Okay, it has to be the same length and it must be it's parallel in the same direction and we're going to do that with vectors B and C. Okay, so there's, there's B and C right there. Alright, so now we're going to draw the segments that connect these terminal points and we're going to label them uh, A prime, B prime, C prime. So we're going to draw a segment from here to here and from here to here right here. Okay, and this is going to be A prime, this point out here is going to be B prime, and this one's going to be C prime right there. Okay, there it is right there. Okay, and those are congruent triangles. They have the same shape and same size and same everything, as long as we moved them all the same as the director. Okay, let's do that with this quadrilateral, A, B, C, D, and we're going to move it in the form of vector V. Okay, so this vector, it's going to go up, looks like Five and to the left, one, two, three. Okay, so uh, so we're going to draw the a vector from vertex A that is the same length and is parallel to vector V. Looks like you had to fill in some blanks there. So the terminal point A prime, which is this guy right here, is going to be up five and to the left three. So if we go up five and to the left three, it's going to be floating right there. Okay, there it is, right there. Okay, so let's um, come on there. Okay, so uh, let's draw three more vectors uh, that are parallel uh, from B, C, and D. So we're going to do the same thing, up five to the left three, and then we're going to connect those points right there, and it's going to be a uh, quadrilateral A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. Okay, and doesn't this pink guy look the, uh, congruent to the original pre-image? Remember, this is the pre-image, and this is called the image right here. 
Okay, so rules for uh, translations on a coordinate plane. If we move it to the right, that is plus A with the X, and move it to the left. Left and right is X movement, you guys. Up and down, if we go up and down, that is Y movement. So if we go up, we add it to Y. If we go down, we subtract it from Y, okay? So when we move an image to the right, uh, a units and up B units, then that just takes this uh, pre-image XY and it moves it X plus A comma Y plus B. And if it goes to the left, this would be X minus A. If it goes down, Y minus B. Okay, so when you're given the pre-image and a vector, for example, the vector is 2, negative 5, that means that each XY point is going to be adding 2 and subtracting 5, okay? Adding 2 to the x and subtracting 5 to the y. Let's try that. So we're going to calculate the vertices of the image, okay? Uh, so this is the pre-image. So this pre-image is this triangle, and they didn't label it, and then all of a sudden they did. So we'll label this point A, point B, point C, and let's go ahead and, and graph those right there, and we'll call this vector V right there, okay? So we're going to take each one of these points, this X, Y, this X, Y, and this X, Y, and we're going to add 4 and add 6 to the X and to the Ys, okay? So there's our, our vector. So add 4 means to the X means go to the right 4. Add 6 to the Ys means we're going to take them up 6. All right, so what if we did negative 2, negative 2 plus 4? That's going to be 2. What's 1 plus 6? That's going to be 7. So we're going to add 4, add 6, add 4, add 6, add 4, add 6. And it's going to give us all our prime um, coordinates there. So there they are right there. Okay, so that's it right there. Let's do that with this one here. So here the, the pre-image coordinates are, are this triangle here, 3, 0, 2, negative 2, and 4, negative 2. And we're going to translate that, which means uh, do the vector uh, movement, uh, negative 2, 3. So we're going to subtract 2 from all the x's, and we're going to add 3 to all the y's, okay? So let's go ahead and graph uh, uh, triangle ABC, and now we're going to subtract 2, add 3, subtract 2, add 3, and then graph that, okay? So this is the pre-image. Remember, the pre-image is before it gets moved, means pre-movement. And so here's the image uh, after the movement right there, okay? All right, so um, uh, specify the component form of the vector that maps triangle ABC to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. So just pick any point. I'm going to pick B right here, and just notice how much does it go for your X and, uh, remember, X is uh, left and right movement, and Y is up and down movement. Okay, so it looks like this one goes down 1, 2, 3, 4, so it's going to be taken away 4 from the Y, so it's going to be something comma negative 4, and it goes to the right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so the vector is going to be 5, negative 4 right there. All right, let's answer some questions here. So uh, what is the component form of a vector that translates uh, a figure horizontally? Well. If it goes horizontally, then the vector has the form a comma zero. So a could be any number, but your y coordinate is zero. There's no change in the vertical direction because it's only going horizontally, so b equals zero. How are translations along the vectors um, uh, a negative b and negative a b similar, and how are they different? Okay, so I graphed you know some ordered pairs, you guys. So I graphed here's negative two three. And then here is a positive 2, negative 3. And so, so if these were the vectors, they move the point the same distance. This distance right here is what it gets moved. And this distance is what it gets moved, but that makes them go in opposite directions right here. Okay, so, so when it's, um, uh, this is positive and this is negative, and you have the same numbers, but they're opposite signs. They're just, they're the same distance, which means magnitude. They're the same magnitude but they go in opposite directions. Okay, so a translation along the vector negative 2, 3, or I'm sorry, negative 2, 7, maps point P to point Q. The coordinates of, of Q are 4, uh, negative 1. What are the coordinates of P and then Y? All right, so what we can do is... Um, 
uh, to solve, you guys. So, so this x minus 2 gave us this x coordinate right here, okay? Because <clears throat> it mapped p. So, so whatever. If this is my vector, then some number minus 2 gave us 4, and some number plus 7 gives us negative 1. So, when we solve x minus 2 equals 4 and y plus 7 equals negative 1, that gets us x equals 6 and y equals negative 8. So p has the coordinate. It started out at 6, negative 8. All right, a translation along the vector a, b maps the points uh, that are in quadrant 1 to points in quadrant 3. What can we conclude about a and b? Well, if they're in quadrant 1, the x and y's are both positives, you guys. So, so our vector a, b has to be both negative, okay, to move it to quadrant 3 because points that are in quadrant 3 now, here's quadrant 3 down here. They're both negative. X and Y are both negative right here. And so if they're in quadrant 1, that means the vector had to be going in this direction, which means to the left, negative, and to the down is negative. So, so both uh, the vectors, A, the, uh, the coordinates A and B, they both have to be negative right there. All right. If you guys are in my class, I'm going to assign you that for your homework. Take care.